Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, day one out of uh, a shortened uh, holiday uh, week is in the books. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, again, if you are brand new to the channel, we really would love to uh, appreciate all the support. And thank you for all the support and view uh, future viewership uh, please like, subscribe, all that social media good stuff that I'm told that I have to say uh, to kind of keep this uh, gravy train going. And hopefully you guys are getting a lot of value for uh, a lot of good unbiased information. We'll hopefully continue to do this for uh, many, many years. So let's talk about it, right? If you go back into uh, all of last week's videos, uh, even the weekend video, uh, it's the same thing, right? It, it, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to recreate the wheel here. Uh, on this update, it's the same thing. You know, the market continues to go higher. Uh, you had, uh, you know, some storylines this morning when you woke up. Uh, you saw OPEC cut, you know, cut production. The OIH is anything oil related uh, went nuts today. OIH, uh, Exxon Mobil, Chevron, you name it, they all, you know, they all went nuts. Uh, you know, Dow went up 300 points because of the predominant action uh, in the oil names. Not really that much of an effort for the Dow to go up 300 points, especially when there's only uh, 30 components. Uh, what I like, what I saw today uh, from the bulls, and again, if, if you look at the, the scoreboard, the Qs you know, have gone up basically from 304 to 321 in four sessions going into today's session. So it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't one of those scenarios that we, 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 we said, well, I know the market's going to go higher. You know, you could always get a res day. And today, it, w it was a res day. It was a res day for the, I would say, about 80% of the day. Uh, what I liked about what I saw today from the bulls, you know, just when you thought uh, they were going to kind of roll over and have a, a, a really good, needed, organic back test, just, just to kind of reset some things, they came back to life in the afternoon and, and just started building. You know, we have all the uh, usual suspects. Apple kept on improving. Uh, Meta kept on improving. Uh, Netflix just is in its own damn bull market. This thing continues uh, to go higher. Uh, even names that rested today that had great runs. That's all they did. They rested. You had Microsoft uh, only, you know, down a buck today. Uh, you had Amazon after a pretty great run up, only down less than a buck. And Amazon's a couple of days away from kind of resuming. And, and the more important part of what we saw today was. It was an inside day, right? And, and basically after a 17 point move in the queues in four days, an inside day was super duper needed. It didn't take out the high, it didn't take out the low. And this was on half the bar from Friday's uh, really, really aggressive breakout. So I, I wish I could, you know, I, I wish I could add some more uh, color to what's going on. As my mom says, no news is good news, right? Uh, as long as we continue uh, to discount bad news, as long as we continue just to kind of slow grind uh, the bears and trap on every single uh, every single dip into rising support. You know th this market will continue. You know once we start losing back the five the ten day moving average, that's when we have a problem. That's why it was such a big deal four days ago when we put this uh, we put this hammer and we reclaimed back the five and the ten day moving average, and here we are. So instead of kind of you know sitting around there you know dancing around you know dancing around uh, you know the stage of of what I think how you know impressive this bull market is, we know it's impressive. We know. You know, we know uh, what the market is doing. And the question is, you know, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? What, how are you taking advantage of everything uh, that we need uh, the, to, for the market to go and prepare for the next day? One stock didn't take advantage. If you guys remember, uh, over the weekend, I talked about potentially having uh, seller's remorse. You know, Tesla had a phenomenal breakout on, on Friday. And I just, I just didn't feel like gambling into... Uh, into these numbers, and there was a, you know there was a big debate uh, going on. Did they beat their numbers? Did they did not beat their numbers. There was a, you know some some um, uh, some different reports, and ultimately uh, we saw what happened throughout the day. Tesla, you know, did not put up a fight at all, at whatsoever, at all, uh, right from the word go. And it took down, you know, it took down the five-day moving average. It lost the ten at one point and kind of reclaimed it on the close. 
So this is one name that, you know, again, if it wasn't for the, these this numbers that were coming out uh, on Sunday, this would have been a phenomenal, you know, f absolutely phenomenal move. But it really does show you that nothing is guaranteed, right? Nothing is guaranteed. You always take your money when you have it because, again, because nothing is guaranteed, they can snatch it back uh, very, very quickly. So instead of, you know, keep on talking about how impressive this market is, we all, I think, agree how it is. Let me give you guys some ideas, right? Let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow's session. And then I have to take my uh, my son to practice. AI continues to be an absolute rock star, right? Uh, we traded to this thing today uh, on the balance. Again, another perfect example. And you can see it here. Another perfect example of a strong stock I think we talked about on the weekend update. A strong stock that that traded right back into into rising support. They trapped and they went back higher. Again, this is a name. If it starts going sideways in the next couple of days, I, I think by Thursday and Friday, this thing's going to wake up again. Look at the breakout today in Roblox, right? Beautiful, beautiful breakout today in Roblox. This is a long distribution uh, that started uh, all the way back on February 16th on the earnings highs. This is a long, long base. It finally came out of this thing. Tomorrow, keep an eye on Roblox, either opening range highs or, again, if it dips uh, at the open, watch this thing for a trap just the same way AI did. Any type of stock, and guys, you should really remember this, especially for new traders, any type of stock, any time the stock breaks out and it breaks out with pretty great looking base, you know, if it opens up weak the next day, it's a gift. It's an absolute gift, especially on the rising support. So keep an eye on Roblox tomorrow if it starts trapping on the bottom range or opening range high. Google, watch Google, man. The Google looks really, really good. So Google, uh, you know, closed above the 5, 10 day moving average on Friday. Today, towards the afternoon, and started picking up some really, really good steam and started moving up here. This is the highest close now on Google in this whole formation, confirmed the 5 and the 10 day moving average. Uh, they were coming in with some pretty aggressive uh, call buying, short-term expiration in the next two weeks uh, for the 110 and the 115 calls. This thing looks really, really good, uh, so keep an eye on that. A couple of names that are, that are not necessarily on my radar every single day, but it really does show you how much the speculation money is in this market. Look at the stock skin. I have no idea what this is. This could be some sort of porn site. I have no idea what this thing is, but look at this chart. Look at the distribution. It looks... Uh, similar to Roblox. This is a distribution uh, that started on February the 2nd. Look how long this base is. If this thing starts bail building uh, above this uh, top of the channel here, this thing was, looks like it's going to rip up. It looks great. Look at the stock AZEK. God knows what this thing is. But what do we know, right? What do we know? We do know that whoever controls the 50-day moving average uh, controls the seal of the fate uh, in that side and direction. Look how many times now, twice in a row. You see that twice in a row on this light blue line? This AZK got rejected off the 50-day. If this thing reclaims the 50-day moving average, this thing can go as well. So keep an eye on, on that as well. Uh, this little stock I started talking about uh, on the weekend update, ARLO. This thing is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Keep an eye on this thing, guys. Eventually, in the next you know, day or so, if this thing starts building above this base here, this thing's going to rip as well. And the one stock that I want to keep an eye, obviously, to the downside, uh, just because you, know, you, you always have to be prepared, just in case Tesla loses the bottom channel here. You see how it held the 20-day moving average, right? I want to keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. If this thing starts losing the 20-day moving average, again, we always try to be prepared on both sides of the market. So if this thing starts losing the 20-day moving average, uh, I want to definitely uh, keep an eye on that as well. Everything else, uh, super duper strong. Apple continues to rip. Uh, NVIDIA continues to go higher. Uh, you know, all the usual suspects. Meta is just a monster. Netflix is just a monster. You get it, right? Uh, different day, same players, same ending of the movie. Uh, the Bulls have control. And until that ends, right, until this, you know, the narrative changes, it's going to be very, very tough to be, you know, to be creative on, on nightly updates. It's just different. It's just different actors being put into the stage and just recycling, recycling the same theory. So the longer we stay, the longer we continue to build. And if you look at the spies, again, last Wednesday, we got above the 50. We just continue to price appreciate above the 50-day moving average. And now we have uh, the 418, 30 levels uh, in sight for the bulls. So again, market continues to be good. Uh, again, it's it's just super important to do your research. You don't want to get the stocks that are up 7, 10, 12 days in a row. You want the stocks, right? You want the stocks that are either coming out of their daily ranges, right? Like a Roblox or coming out of uh, a macro uh, supply zone, like a Google, right? And stuff like that. So tomorrow, guys, 
Same thing, just stay patient, wait for strong stocks to give you really strong dips into rising 60 minutes support. Uh, avoid the names, even though Netflix is like a rocket. What am I going to do with this thing up here, right? Netflix is a breakout here. Netflix is a breakout here. Up here, you know, you're talking about, you know, look at the low. The stock was at 293 a week and a half ago. You know, we're talking about 350 now, right? There's no value. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it can't go higher. It looks like it's going to go higher. And the market's you know, dictating that everything's going to go higher. But again, think about the theory of jumping off the 12th floor or jumping off the first floor. And that's the difference between having a severed head or a scraped knee. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Let me take my son to practice. And in God's willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.